Hey guys, it's a girl Tiara, and today we are gonna talk about. some stuff that I never share with anyone either and what I go through during my pregnancy my labor and everything so don't mind my top the drink spot it so I went to clean kind of Tuesday the same doctor will put my iris monitor the baby and she said well she said, you're not ready yet. She said, I'm not ready yet. And the baby, she not even tell me if I dilated or nothing. And I let me see which day I went to the clinic. It was, I have baby the 26th. So I went to clinic the 25th, April, April 25th, 2017. So she monitored the baby and she write up my nose. But I know it's piercing, right? And um by time by the time my my tummy I grow the no, my, my lip I get bigger and I notice the nose ring I sink so after my baby shower I notice that I can't find the nose ring like I never took it out I want my feel right here it was super hard the, the nose ring was literally in my lip not the nose the lip ring it was literally in here I couldn't feel it it was gone all the way down so when I went to clean, I said to her, I say, I need to get it out because it hurts and I have like fluid I come from out of it, like water and you know, a drain and stuff. She said she can't take it out so I have to go to emergency. I'm so long, I'm going to eat my four piece of papaya chicken that day. I'm going to eat my four piece of papaya chicken because every time I go clean, I have to walk with my lunch money. So... I buck up on this girl, I, I asked her to took my picture because I always want to take picture. I don't know why. And trust me, when I get pregnant with King, I get a whole new face. A whole new face. When I see them pictures, I said, Jesus love, and I see this. I can never see this. So I go over emergency now, they say, third trimester. <laughs> so they say, they can't look for me, I have to go up and leave and delivery. So, I swing, I look for them, and I go up a labor and delivery. Them ask me, what am I here for? I'm like, I'm just coming for my doctor's appointment, and she said I should come see you guys so you guys could take out this ring out my mouth because it's hurt. It hurt, and we needed to go. She was like, okay, I have to monitor the baby first. That's how the woman tell me. Well, she's not wrong, but yeah. We don't do lips here. She said something like, um, we don't responsible for lips, so we have to monitor the baby. That's not our job. We have to monitor the baby first. So she took me to the room. And bear in mind, that was a Tuesday, and my, and my iris clinic date was the next day, the Wednesday, when my half king, my dear forgot iris clinic for them monitor the baby. So she ended up monitor the baby that day. The Tuesday, so she managed to the baby, and then my notice that she come in with one doctor. And I said, Goody, I saw the doctor come in and he put the gloves on the answer. Plop, so I wonder, I will she come in with a doctor for her because normally when they manage to the baby, I just the nurse. So the doctor said, Mommy, I start to feel very hot, like I lay down on the bed, and from nowhere, I start to feel like hot. And me a shake. I don't know why me a shake, but me just start shake out of the blue. So, anyways, anyways, the doctor say him a fi um check the sir this. I don't want make mistake and come to nobody come for me. Him say me fi check my serve cervix I'm going to check, like, you know, when they insert them and open the JJ. So I'm like, okay, Master Goody. And the worst thing, 
the man could have ever do to me. Well, Mr. T, girl, I the worst thing the man could have ever do to me. One little white man, Tina, say no him and no big. And the man put up him on. And I say, I start tremble so I start ball blood. I start ball. And so I so ball. And I say, Mommy, you're in labor. Be your mind, you know. I just five minutes ago, I did good. I just lay my two, my four pieces of papaya chicken. And I feel perfectly fine. So all of a sudden, you put your hand in a me labor. And him can't send me home. But he kinda glad. Because every day I pray for King come early. Not not early, 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 but every day I pray for King Ban. Winter my ears to like I'm full term. But he want King. I never want him ban for him due date. I want him come like a couple days before. Cause I could wait out. Reason why I said that, because I did have terrible art burnses. Like I couldn't sleep, and straight through my pregnancy, I have terrible heartburn. I used to throw up on the train. I used to throw up at work. I used to um when I when me leave out in the morning time for go work, before me enter the train, me literally have to throw up on the station or in a one local corner. When me leave work and I go home before me take the train, I have to throw up. And when me do home, I literally have one bucket beside of the bed because either me a throw up or a burn a kill me. I the nothing me ever drink milk. I eat half a bottle of tums. I eat half a bottle of tums and plus me go work and eat half my patient tums. So I call my mom. Who I call? I call Ray. I call Ray and I tell him say them, them say me in a labor. I call my mother. My mother did in Jamaica, I remember. So all the person I have at home was my little sister. So my mother, hold on, I have to take a sip. So my mother called my little sister. And tell her to so have to come over, come stay with me or whatever. Ready day at work. Bear in mind, it's a Tuesday, so ready at work. So I felt stay there and wait till Ray come. Ray called Fee Mother. So Fee Mother was there with me through the whole thing. Anyways, then put me on pain. Then give me pain. They put me on pain. And put me up to some machine and have me in the bed. The world them admit me five about 5 30 Tuesday evening, 5 30, 4 20, 4 25, 17, 5 30. I remember my lady and the people them better cruise. My depend all kind of video call goodie. Me eat everything. I'll know me not feel not one pain. And the pain that they are dripping out the inner, I mean I feel no pain. So Tuesday done, me reaching a Wednesday morning. Tuesday done, I'm gonna have baby. Every minute there's this guy. I'm like, mommy, you ready for the epidural? Because it's true, my calm and collective in my chair. Every time I say, I have to take the epidural from now. Because when I start to feel a pain, they're not gonna be able to give me the epidural again because I'm not gonna be able to stay still. I'm like, no, because my sister, she, about Shelly. Don't take no epidural because she's she a fair for her, her daughter. Um, natural. She's like, you can't do it. Don't take the epidural. So me know my big head I follow her and say, I'm not take no epidural, I'm gonna fight it out. Anyways, so I tell the man, no, I don't want epidural. I say good Wednesday. I start to feel pain, like real pain. Not in the morning, but Wednesday afternoon I start to feel pain. I said some bit of pain, I start to feel some bit of pain. I start to throw up. Cause you can't eat and so I start to throw up. And everything that I throw up was water. All yellow water. So then I said, oh me I throw up. So then I forgive me drip. For stop throw up. And another thing too, in a labor. I pee every one minute. 
I just a pee. So when I when I time the nurse, she she tired of me, cause every minute she me could get up for the bathroom. So every minute me for ask her for the the people the the the, the um the basil for pee in, and she was like, you pee. Me no know she me remember she say, but she decided to give me the um um a pee pee bag. So yeah yeah. Then put one peepee -pee bag in my mother J, so I didn't have to get up to pee a lot. I would just sit there and pee. Anyways, about about six six thirty, four twenty six seventeen. My water broke. I lay down in the bed and my face up my run out. It was so warm. I'm like, oh my god. And I saw me a panic in my Oh my god, nurse, my face something, my face something. Oh, I think I'll be able to slide out. And so she come and she says, it's your water broke. I never get to experience my water broke. Like, psh. I not get to see it how it look or whatever. So I don't know how it looks. I don't know nothing about water bro bro broke or whatever. Because it broke in the bed and I couldn't get to see it. <laughs> So anyways, we did it, we did it. Then finally come give me, I finally tell the man some more the epidural. When they made give me the epidural, I was kicking up a storm. I was kicking up a storm, but the lady had to give it to me because I was in so much pain. My di my dilation was creeping, like me not stuck. Every time them come check me, me there one over or two over so for instance when them they check me before they admit me the four when them admit me me reach five and by um wednesday morning me reach six i just saw it a creep up because my have friends with them so for them one stuck them i feel like you know so anyways i'm gonna get the epidural i'm gonna get for sleep i like i never sleep ray was there and them have some other students so come in the room every minute come wake me up and attack and I touch up my belly all these things and the epidural make me sleep a little bit every time it wake me up when the pain come they give me a button and the woman said press it when you need medicine girl I press the button about 50 times you hear me tell her? I done the medicine my contraction never come back. Man said, press the button every, I think I have 15 minutes. Me press the button every zero minutes. <laughs> when at the time, the pain of me I feel is like a bulldozer creep down in my belly. So, I saw me the pump. Plop, plop. <laughs> I was like, girl. I was saying. <clears throat> I pressed out all of the medicine. Over to that, the piece of button they were give me. Me tell her, press out all of the medicine. But so with the epidural now, when we get filled on for one good ten minutes, and then the pain goes on, bloop, and it just. So, anyways, eight after eight, me, them come check me again for see how much me reach in my dilation, and I was eight centimeter. I reach 8 cm I'm a cock up on video call no girl <laughs> I'm going to show you one picture But yeah, 8 cm I'm ready for push now Ready for push My sister in the room My little sister was there straight through She never left Ray mom was there Ray have to Unfortunately Ray have to be at work So Ray mom was there Holding my leg for me to push the baby out. <sighs> my shame tree cut the same and see me what more with my foot. Mm. But they are push. I don't know what the man tell me say like the doctor say push when you feel pain. I don't know I don't know if I push my feel pain or I don't push anytime. But I don't know I push. Your girl I push, I push, I push, I push, I push. It wasn't I never pushed for long because I couldn't really feel nothing because the epidural um, like sort of cripple you so your lower body is dead you can't feel nothing so I pushed 
and I'm gonna put a clip so you guys could see you have to watch carefully and listen carefully to know when King popped out okay yeah Go. So, um, my push, and him finally, pluck. That's the only thing, my ear. Yeah, I got ear to the clip when me, me I put it right up the so, store. Yeah, everything, I come right up the so. Yeah, I got to see everything, every picture we met, I come right up the so. So, my ear, pluck. And then, so, <clears throat> this is a part that like get me emotional because when my baby came out he was partially 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 dead and he, he wasn't crying at all he was like he wasn't crying and I was looking around like what's going on why he's not crying I was crying so hard I lose focus I don't know what's going on anymore it's like my mind just focus on why my baby not crying I never really speak about this to anyone only my maybe my mom know my Ray know so they were trying to I'm gonna leave a clip so you guys could see they were trying to wake him up I I was dear like it was the worst feeling ever and then something went through my mind that um when I was pregnant somebody said to me that she wishes my baby turned sideways and both of us die <laughs> so when King never had a cry that was the first thing came to my mind I'm like God please don't fulfill our wishes please please God you really have to fulfill our wishes meantime me I cry I don't mean I say in my mind like you really have to fulfill our wish our wishes I may cry, I may say to my mom, say, God, I wonder if I had a girl here, we should say, I happen right now. And then the doctor, my ear, the nurse, said to the doctor that, um, wait, no, after they get him to wake up, after a whole couple minutes, a lot of minutes, so, um, them did I like rub him up and you know I'm gonna put a clip right there so y'all can see they will like choke him up and try to get him to breathe and trying to get him to cry trying to get him to open his eyes and it wasn't working and I was crying and the doctor said like mom you gotta push out the placenta me hear him say, but me not pay attention. It's like long after King wake up, me push that out. I wasn't even trying to push that out when my baby not crying. It's like, what, what the point? What the point if my baby is not alive? Why I'm pushing it out? Like, my sister, you could see it on her face. Everybody freeze. My mother-in-law freeze. Everybody, everybody was happy and everybody freeze and it's like my sister won't cry it was just so sad it was just so sad it was just so sad so long after they get him to like cry he cried like once like sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different one that's why <laughs> Sorry. He cried once. I'm gonna. It's like a breath of fresh air. Oh my god! I'm like 
Cause me cry, why is that crying? Why is that crying? And when me hear him cry, when once it was so, it was so. I, I was so happy, like the the liquor prayer when me put on during the in in that time. Trust me, it really come true. And I the me hear the doctor tell the nurse tell the doctor that. He, so the nurse told the doctor that he was dead for three minutes. What the thing I'm happy about him literally wake up because I to the point if him never like I go through the whole nine months for what? So we um they had to take him away right away. I never have my baby. You know, like how some people have their kids, just had their baby, and the baby get to stay in the same um, nursery with you, the same room. I never got that chance. So they let me do skin to skin for a couple of minutes, and then they took him to the NICU. He wasn't sick. He was very healthy. So I don't know why he passed for, like, for three minutes because he was very healthy but them so means meantime when i was pushing him art did i race so maybe that's why but he was healthy we had a little fever he has a high fee he born with fever a high fever so that's the reason why they had to take him to the NICU and i have a fever so we couldn't be together they have to treat my fever and treat his fever, uh, monitor him. So they had to take him to the NICU so they could put him on antibiotic to um, get the fever down. And then I have to be on antibiotic too for the time that I was there to get my fever down. He was seven pound four ounces. And I don't, and I think it's 16 inch. I don't remember the inch, but it was seven pound seven pounds four ounces so that night they put me in a wheelchair after everything's finished they took out the epidural and they put me in a wheelchair it was like after everything done i think it was level something to us something and when we look out on social media i see everybody has have them first bath with their kids and i don't it's like hurt hurt me real bad so, I never understand nothing like I never know how to get to the NICU to see him. So after I see him that night, the other day, I never see him for the whole day. I never get to breastfeed him, so they already start him on bottle. They already start him on formula, which they maybe think I'm, I did a came to breastfeed him, but I didn't know nothing. The nurse didn't tell me nothing where to go get him where to go see him and if I could go and breastfeed him or nothing so I was just there in the room stuck never know nothing and I don't remember if I asked yeah I think I asked the nurse like if I could go see the baby and she was like yeah you could go see the baby anytime so that's when I started to go see him every day every minute even when he's sleeping and they'd be like oh mommy he's sleeping I went to go see him. I tried to pump. I pump and um, I take the milk. I got a little milk. <laughs> the first pump that I pump, I got a little milk, a little bit, bit of milk. And I took it around there. I don't know if they give it to him, but he was sleeping, so I have to leave it in his crib. He has a little crib that he slept in. There was a lot of sick babies in that room, a lot of baby that's under cover sh in a lot but he was just in a little crib with the little drip on his hand so I was happy about that me and Ray go visit him every time we go visit him we have to put on this yellow gown we have to put on gloves we have to put on head cap like it was so frustrated so it was time for me to go home the nurse like you're gonna get discharged today so I thought when I get discharged my baby would get discharged with me but it wasn't like that so they they um said you 
they told me that I was discharged and I have to go around where the nursery is to ask them if the baby is discharged too. So I went around, so I go, so I went around there and I, I, I was like, I'm discharged. Is the baby discharged too? They was like, no. Mary go around there, you know. And them said, no. Unfortunately, mommy, you're going home, but the baby is not going home. It's like them break my whole heart over again. I feel like the night when when him never had a cry, I start to cry. I literally start to cry. The nurse was like, no, 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 mommy. He's, he's perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong with him. All Ray, you could have seen it on Ray's face. Ray was so disappointed. He's, Ray feel like he, he, he just want to cry. He get very emotional. I could see it. And the nurse was like, no, mommy, nothing wrong with him. It's because we got the request to circumcise him late. And because we just did it today, this morning, we can't send him home. We have to monitor it. So they said they had to monitor, monitor the circumcision and make sure it's healing properly before we could took him home. So I went home the Friday and after went back the Saturday to go get him. Was, I was super happy. I come home, my clean, and I could sleep. I stay up the whole night. Even though I know me, I come home with a baby. I stay up the whole night, I couldn't sleep. And I dress up, and I bring him car seat. And me and my little sister go pick him up. And it was just everything. It was just everything. My sister bought him this cute little outfit. It was my best outfit. I think it says born in 2017. So I took that outfit because I. I have to take an outfit to put him in. When I was taking him home. Trust me. It was the happiest day of my life knowing that I'm gonna take him home he was so cute I ain't gonna lie he was like red and him have some little stuff on his skin like he was a little you know when chicken foot have the little skin I just, him skin just him skin did a peel peel but it was so cute it just looked like a little and he was so skinny. Him always skinny. King was super skinny. He was super skinny. Yep. And first that was appointment. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of that. And oh skinny I was after I have the baby, so super long and I don't want to drag it out anymore so if you guys enjoy this little story time please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're watching my videos and not yet subscribe please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment what you don't like and what you like bye oh and yeah I'm gonna show you I have a um when I went to Jamaica 2018 I got my I got his name Tats on my end said King 426 17. I don't know if you can see it. Said King 426 17.